Good evening. We begin tonight with Canada's housing crisis and the latest pitch from the Liberals to try and make it more affordable. With a lack of supply putting pressure on communities, the federal government is now opening up dozens of new properties for lease. A move critics say should have come long ago. CTV's Christina Tenalia has the details. We're building homes on federal lands. This isn't a realtor. It's Canada's housing minister promoting a government program that frees up federally owned properties to build homes. There are thousands of federal properties in every part of this country that aren't doing much right now. So the Liberals say they'll make better use of these lands. 56 properties the size of 2,000 hockey rinks to be freed up as announced in the 2024 budget. As of today, Five sites are ready for builders to submit proposals with the potential for 25,000 units. This location in Toronto's northwest end. The other spots? Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton and Montreal. The government says the goal is to lease the properties to builders long term. With builders committing to build affordable housing, construction can begin as early as January. The news is good. But not good enough, says this housing advocate. But they also propose doing something like this actually in their 2015 platform. It's moving the right direction in the same way that a turtle is running a marathon. It really doesn't tell you how close you're getting to the finish line. The conservative housing critic doubled down on the delay. Nine years later, five properties are ready to go. They can start building on them. They keep promising and the situation just keeps getting worse. Just this week, a report notes the average home price in Toronto is 1.1 million. In Vancouver, it's 1.2. The average income needed to purchase a home in these markets is between about 210 to 227 thousand dollars. The median after-tax income for Canadian families is about 68000 With an election on the horizon, this expert suggests the government's move to speed up construction may be too late. There may be a number of voters who want to turn the page and get a new government uh, in the hopes that that government will do a better job on that. The government also announced a new tool for builders that allows them to submit proposals. The Liberals say this is all part of their plan to build 250,000 new homes by 2031. Heather. Christina, thank you.